Hey, what's going on everyone? And welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to build the um, user profile XML layout for our uh, registration app. And uh, as always, uh, remember to subscribe and leave a comment. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to expand layout and I'm going to right click new layout resource file. And I'm going to call this one, um, activity underscore profile dot xml press ok and uh, here i want to um, use a constraint layout and put it right there i'm going to constrain it to the top left and bottom and um, what i want to do here is to change this to match parent the width and for the height i'm going to set it to 200 dp and uh, i'm going to place it near to the top so it's kind of like a header uh, for the uh, user interface and margin, margin star zero zero And zero. All right, so um, next I want to add a background image. And I'm going to set it to background gradient, which I created in a previous video. And next I'm going to add a text view. I'm switching back and forth uh, between uh, design view and uh, text view. And uh, next I want to add an image view. And I'm going to place this one outside the uh, header section. I'm going to add a test avatar. And uh, I'm going to constrain this uh, to the top, left, and right. And I want to align the middle of the image with the bottom of the header section. So next I'm going to add another constraint layout. And I'm going to place it underneath the picture. Okay, so I want to here add a text view. And I want to add another text view underneath. And we worry about formatting it later. All right, so next I'm going to add a linear layout. So this is going to be a linear layout horizontal. And I'm going to place it here. I'm going to constrain to the top, left, and right. And inside this linear layout, I want a an image view. Again, I'm going to use a test avatar. I'm going to go inside um, text view. I am going to change the image view to wrap content and wrap content. Okay. Uh, next, I want to add a text view. So we'll go back into design, text view, and I'm going to place it right next to the image view. Going back into text. And now I'm going to copy this linear layout. And um, we need it. And uh, we need it one, two, three, four. So we need it three more times. 
to all right so next uh, we need to change the id I'm going to call this one email image view and for the first layout uh, for the first linear layout i'm going to change this to mass parent and this one to wrap content okay and i'm going to change this to text view to email text view i'm going to do the same for the rest of the layout all right so next i need to add this image and this vector images uh, to my um, project so I'm going to click on Drawable, right click on Drawable, and then I'm going to go into Vector Asset. And I'm going to select uh, Local, actually, I'm going to select Clip Art. And I'm looking for um, Email. Okay, so I want to select this one, click OK going to make sure that the color is set to white actually it is need, need to be set to black choose next finish click add and um, and I need to change this into the image view to email black uh, next I need to uh this one so let's go ahead and do the same thing all right so i'm going to change this to phone black 24 All right, so I have the layout for the activity. And uh, so next, let's go into our activities and right click new Java class. I'm going to call this one um, profile activity. Click OK. And uh, here I'm going to start by creating instance to all the elements inside the XML layout.
Right. So after we reference um, every single view in our inside our XML layout, we are going to create a reference to the database. So here at the top, I am going to create uh, two variables. One for the database and the other one for database reference. Okay, and so I'm going to come here and uh, I'm going to create an instance of those reference. And uh, we're going to create a reference to the user. I'm going to create constant here. All right, so next we are going to create the listener for the database reference. So I'm going to say user graph that um, add value event listener new value and this is going to uh, create two methods for us and so uh, the method that we want to implement is on data change which is going to um, receive a data snapshot and so we are going to uh, loop implement a for loop that is going to uh, loop through every single result uh, returned by the uh, by the connection to the database. And we're going to use the get children on the data snapshot, and this is going to return an iterable uh, that contains all the objects. Re, uh, returned by the uh, by the um, by the database. So here um, we're looking for one piece of information, and uh, we need to compare if the user that we want to retrieve the information is the user that we're currently looking from the result, and uh, the the string that we're going to use for that is the email string, which we're going to uh, get from the um, main activity, which is the login activity, I need to create here an intent that is going to get intent and uh, going to get a string email equals to intent. get uh, string extra email. All right, so here um, I'm going to say um, Diaz shall email And that equals to email, then we have found our object. And uh, this one here should say uh, get value. And uh, we need to make this one a global value variable. 
All right, so inside here, um, I'm going to say uh, name, text view, set text, and I'm going to say Diaz, and that shall full name and get value. And because this is a um, a string, I'm going to say string that class. All right, so we're going to repeat this for every single value. And uh, the next should be email. Uh, which we already have from this section here. And this one should be profession. Uh, this one should be workplace. And I believe I'm missing another one. All right, so um, I'm ready to run the application. So I'm going to click run. Okay, and I wanted to point out that I changed the database reference. Uh, it was originally pointing to users, and I changed it to users. And uh, if you can see here on my um, Firebase database, the uh, root element is user. Okay, so uh, let's go into. All right, so I'm going to enter the credentials. In password and click login and there we go that's our information and that's it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always remember to subscribe leave a comment and uh, see you in the next video